What's up everybody, Brian Tong here at Qualcomm's headquarters in San Diego, California. And the good people at Qualcomm are partnering with me to give you all a behind the scenes at their latest AR reference design powered by the Snapdragon XR1 platform, which is used in many of the AR and VR headsets that you can buy today. So we're gonna first show you the XR1 AR Smart Viewer, and this is the foundation that allows other companies to build their own headsets, whether they're for the consumers or business. I'll also be checking out a second device, and I'm really excited about this because I'm gonna be one of the first people ever to get hands-on with Lenovo's Think Reality A3. You might recognize it from CES, it got a whole lot of buzz, but this is a commercial product that was developed in parallels with Qualcomm's reference design, and let's just say what, five virtual screens at once? I'm excited, so let's check it out. Whee! All right, everybody, we are here inside Qualcomm's secret lab. And who I have next to me, we've got Taufik, he's a product manager. And in my hands, I've got Snapdragon's XR1 AR Smart Viewer. And this is kind of really the reference the blueprint of how you work with other companies to kind of build these great products. But for people at home and myself, I'd love for you to tell me what exactly am I holding here, Taufik, and what is some of the tech that's inside here? Sure. What you're looking at here is what we call a smart viewer. What we're doing here is we're doing split rendering or split perception between the headset and the smartphone. This is a, a binocular display, so what you're seeing is two lenses here onto which the image is rendered and then projected. So let's talk about some of the features here on the Snapdragon XR1 Smart Viewer. First of all, you get split processing where some of that happens on the actual Smart Viewer and some of that also happens with a companion device, whether it's a phone or a PC. You also have the 2D app framework that lets you launch smartphone applications into multiple virtual displays that can be placed in specific locations within your environment. The framework supports protected content viewing, so that allows you to watch premium movies, get streaming services wherever you want in the Smart Viewer. You can also tether this to a PC, so the Smart Viewer combines plane detection and the ability to render multiple virtual displays to give you a virtual PC Windows world. Hardware-wise, if you look in the middle here, you have an 8 megapixel RGB camera at a 1080p resolution with image stabilization that allows someone else to see what you see. And then you have the dual monochrome cameras on the Smart Viewer in the corners. That enables six degrees of freedom. Some of you have heard it called six DOF. That allows for head tracking and hand tracking with gesture recognition. Okay. So the smartphone um, acts as your three DOF controller. So you should be able to see a ray cast straight out of the phone and you should be able to see a launcher from which you can launch a 2D app or a 3D app. So if you think about it, 2D apps were designed and built for smartphones. They're really built and designed to be shown on a, on a 2D screen. And so what we've done is we've built this framework that we also share with some of our partners. And this enables you to take an existing 2D app, launch it onto your glasses. All right, so this smart viewer that I'm wearing, this is, again, this is a reference design. Someone at home cannot purchase this, but you're working with partners for them to create their own vision um, using this as the foundation? So this is a reference design, which really means it's a blueprint for OEMs and ODMs to actually build commercial devices based on this particular architecture. Um, OEMs and ODMs might choose to implement similar design or do their own design, as you'll see when I present you with a commercial headset. Yeah, because they can either choose to go kind of the consumer route or enterprise route, you know, I'm excited because Lenovo has their Think Reality A3s, Absolutely. and I've seen videos of it. Um, really, from what I know, no one has really been able to experience and use it. So that's kind of an example of a company that worked with you with this reference design and then put out their own product, which a consumer or business could buy. All right, let's check out the Lenovo Think Reality A3 glasses. They're gonna tether to either a PC or select Motorola phones. That's via a USB-C cable. That depends on how you wanna use it and what apps you wanna play with. These smart glasses are also powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR1 platform, so you're gonna get that high quality performance. It also features two stereoscopic 1080p displays, so that gives the users the ability to look at up to five virtual displays. So this represents screens as 3D visualizations that you can interact with. So think about this, instead of one or two or three physical monitors hunkering on your desk, you can have a single laptop, and then these Think Reality A3 glasses would handle all of that. You also have an eight megapixel RGB camera that provides you a 1080p 
video for remote expert use cases. They can see what you see. And then on the top corners, you got the dual fisheye cameras that allow you to do room scale tracking. So where you move your head, it tracks along with you. All right, I'm super excited to check these out. Um, Taufik, you have them in your hands. I just want to see these bad boys. All right, and here's the Tank Reality A3 glasses. They're based on the Snapdragon XR1 processors. They're tethered to a Motorola G100 headset, so feel free to try the experience. Ooh, okay, I'm loving this. Now, I put these glasses on, and I can see right, they, they have a little more heft to them, so I can see that they've kind of already just physically done some different things here. And right away, this, this UI here, it's more, it's like, two circle, kind of a circular round UI. And I can also feel, you know, I'm, these are enterprise based. And so this makes sense. Instead of using my phone, I can just kind of gaze and look, look at different icons to launch them, to launch different settings for them. I can see the volume. I just stare at it and it opens up like volume up or down. I go over here to Chrome, a menu opens when I stare at it to look at whether I want to open up the browser. So this is a, a different way to, navigate with this and just kind of gaze at things and they pop up. But I mean, this is a truly hands-free experience. It's, it's pretty sweet, honestly, because now I can imagine being at a keyboard, not having to touch anything, and then just being able to use, really just navigate this all with my eyes. Yeah, because they're enterprise focused, the goal is to have a total hands-free experience. So Qualcomm starts with really the fundamentals of this reference design, and then a company like Lenovo works in parallel with them to bring their own ideas, innovations, and maybe put a little bit of their secret sauce in there, resulting in the Think Reality A3. So Hugo, I just finished you know, getting my hands on the XR1 Smart Viewer, the reference design. Then I got to check out Lenovo's Think Reality A3 and really see how that has evolved. So why is it important where we've seen Qualcomm chips in almost everything now, why is it important for you guys to put a reference design here out in the market for AR and VR? Well, so first of all, thanks uh, so much for taking the time, seeing everything that uh, is coming out of the oven uh, from, uh, from, from Qualcomm on XR. So now to your question, why do we put a reference design? Well, because we first build you know, the leading chips, right? XR1 and XR2 that we're doing right now for uh, VR and AR. Then we build algorithms, technologies, software. But then how do I make it easy? How can I scale to multiple OEMs with those chips, with that software and technology? We build the reference design. So we build the reference design ourselves. Uh, you may have seen it before, our virtual reality reference designs. Now you see our augmented reality reference design with XR1. And, um, and the idea is that we make really a blueprint so someone that wants to commercialize, wants to manufacture you know, a, a headset, a glass, they have somewhere to start. Where the chip is there, where components around the chip are there as a reference. Um, and that, of course, minimize the investment that our customers have to make. Um, and on, as well as being a, a cool demo for folks like you uh, and many in the industry to experience our technology. All right, everybody, that was a whole lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed it too. Just a cool behind the scenes to see how Qualcomm Snapdragon XR1 platform, it starts with this reference design and then leads to the products that you could buy today.